A fire that scorched more than a square mile in St. John's County is mostly under control tonight. News for Jax has been monitoring the flames from overhead and from the ground throughout the evening. At last check, the fire was 675 acres and 75% contained. It's burning between I-95 and the St. John's River. Take a look at the area. It's about eight miles west of the interstate and several miles east of the St. John's River. The area is south of State Road 16. Yeah, for uh, forestry firefighters, they've been on the scene all afternoon and into the evening. So let's go straight to news for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier joining us off Highway 13A. And Eric, any word on how this fire started? Well, Kent, right now, investigators have not determined how the fire was started because they say their efforts right now are solely on putting this fire completely out, getting it 100% contained. I can, however, tell you that no homes were damaged or destroyed because westerly winds were pushing those flames in a westerly direction away from nearby neighborhoods toward the St. John's River where there were no structures in its path. What started this wildfire remains under investigation, but heavy smoke that could be seen for miles was more menacing to look at for Honey Branch subdivision homeowners who had a much closer view. I just look outside and the whole backside of the neighborhood's black and smoky. It's pretty insane. At any point did you think that the winds may shift and carry it closer to your home? Oh yeah, actually once we got here I just felt it blowing in our face and it was very concerning. Fortunately, winds kept blowing flames in a westerly direction toward the St. John's River. As fire crews and bulldozers battled the blaze on the ground by establishing containment lines, a helicopter repeatedly collected water from a nearby retention pond to dump on the flames. By 9 p.m., the fire was 75% contained, and crews say it might be 100% contained before the end of the night. The weather is going to be on our side tonight, so the relative humidity is up, the winds have died down a little bit, um, and, and that plays a, a huge factor in suppression efforts. Now, at least one firefighter was taken to the hospital. Uh, he did not suffer any injuries, but this was for a precautionary measure because uh, authorities say that uh, he, uh, he flames got too close to his bulldozer, and so they wanted to get him to the hospital to be evaluated. Reporting live in St. John's County, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.